hi guys so today i am going to do this look for you guys i wasn't going to upload this because i hated the lip then i changed it to this brown so i kind of decided to upload it but i absolutely love the eye look it has so many different dimensions and colors to it so let's go ahead and show you guys how i created this all right you guys so you're going to start off well i'm going to start off with my la girl hd concealer and i just use this to kind of cancel out the discoloration on my eye as sometimes i use my fingers to blend it out or you can use a brush or a beauty sponge and i'm going to be using a different primer today this is the lid primer from smashbox i just got like the whole collection from them so thank you smashbox i'm just gonna prime my lid with that and i'm gonna go in with my matte pressed powder from l'oreal this is their pro matte powder in the shade coco and i'm just going to use this as my transition color today and i'm using my large fluffy blending brush from sigma to just blend this out okay now i'm going to go in with chocolate here from coastal scents and i'm using my crease brush from sigma and i'm just going to apply this into my crease and slightly blend it in with my transition color these two colors are just going to give us that nice dimension that we're looking for. Now going in with Oktoberfest, I'm just going to add that between the colors, so between Chocolatier and the powder that I used to kind of give it more of a warmed look. And I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend that out once again. Using this black eyeshadow from Wet n Wild, this is called Panther if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if they still sell it. Hopefully they do. And I'm just going to apply a bit of this to the outer part and inner part of my lid so we can create a smoky halo look and I'm using that same crease brush from Sigma to apply it I'm also gonna lightly blend it into my crease kind of attaching it just very very lightly but not all the way you don't want to have like a straight line in your crease you want it to kind of have it more smoked out looking okay Now I'm going back in with Chocolatier. I'm just going to add a bit of this to the edge part of the black because I didn't want it to be super harsh and dark in that area. Then I'm going to go in with a bit of Oktoberfest and just blend that out once again because I want it to be soft. I want it to have that transitioned look, but I just don't want it to be harsh. Now going in with this MAC pigment that I got from Glambot. Um, I recently did an unboxing video for them. Make sure you guys check those out because I usually have a 30% off coupon for about 72 hours whenever I do those but um, I got this from Glambot and I'm just gonna add that into the center part of my lid now I'm gonna use this photo ready eye art um, duo from Revlon I'll put the name of it down below in the description box I believe it's called gold or olive gold something like that but I could be mistaken so I'll put it in the description box I'm just gonna use the glittery side and apply this to the center part of my lid and this way you can have the glittery look without having to put on a primer or deal with loose powder and all of that so I'll put the name of it down below now using this eyeliner pencil from Urban Decay I also got this from Glambot and I'm just using the blue side. It's just beautiful eyeliner, you guys. Um, the part of the name is pencil is shaved off, so I can't remember it. But I'll try to find it and put it in the description box for you as well. Now I'm just gonna use my NYC liquid liner and create my wing liner. I'm not going too dramatic today. To me, it's a, a very modest wing, not too dramatic. <laughs> we definitely want the eye look to stand out more than the wing. Now using my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, I'm just going to apply a bit of mascara to my top lashes and I'm going to add some concealer underneath my eye and I'm just going to blend that out using my Damp Beauty Sponge. This is also to help prime under my eye area. I'm going to set it with a bit of powder and this is the Ben 9 Neutral Set Powder. I just saw that there was a brush here under my eye there real creepy <laughs> and i'm also priming under my eye using that same smashbox um, eyeshadow primer and i'm going to use the same forest green pigment underneath my lower lash line i'm going to blend out the edges of it with a bit of my shadow and i'm using oktoberfest at first just to blend it out to soften it up so it doesn't look so harsh and i'm just going to go in and add just a bit more of the green because the blending kind of took a bit of it away now I'm going to go in with that beautiful liner. It's kind of like a galaxy liner. It's just, it just has really, really pretty dimensions to it. I'm just going to use this and add it to the inner and outer part of my lower lash line. And then in the center part, I'm going to add a bit of that glitter. So pretty much the same thing I'm doing on my lid, I'm doing underneath my lower lash line. 
I'm also going to go in and line my waterline using my Aqua XL liner from Makeup Forever. And I'm just going to line my waterline. It pretty much stays in place, which I really, really like. I'll put the number of it down below. And I'm also going to use this pigment from MAC. I got this pigment from Glamba too. Guys, I'm going to let you know. Any pigment you see me use from MAC, I got it from Glamba. Because it's cheaper there and I pretty much get a full tub, you know, even though it's gently used. So I'm going to use this pigment to highlight my inner tear duct and my brow bone. I'll put the name of it down below in the description box. And I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend that out just a bit. And I'm going to put on some of my favorite stack lashes. These are the 615 Salon Perfect and the 206 Ardell lashes that I stacked together to create this look. I think I got the numbers right. I'm add some mascara to my lower lashes and ju just a bit more pigment to my tear duct area and this is it. I absolutely love the eyes from this look. The lips and the rest of the face I wasn't so sure about. But anyways, let's go on to the face. Wait, so part of the video obviously didn't film or else it will be here. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a bit of my powder underneath my lower lash line to kind of smoke it out a bit more and I'm gonna add a bit more of that beautiful beautiful liner from Urban Decay. I promise you guys I'll try and find it and put the name of it down below. I'm gonna add my mascara to my lower lashes because the powder that I used to set my under eye concealer with got on my lashes and makes it look a bit dusty. So now I'm using my Orgasmic Loose Powder Highlight from Makeup Addiction and I'm just gonna highlight with that. Then I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from Sugar Pill which is called You Forever and add a bit more highlight and then lights out. Literally. <laughs> You know, the, the circuit breaker just, I don't know, it broke. The breaker broke. <laughs> Alright, now I'm back and I'm using Cinnabar from La Femme. It's a beautiful blush from La Femme. And I'm going to go in and set my lips with some neutral powder. This is Ben Nice Neutral Set Powder. It's an invisible powder. And this is just going to make the lip color matte. This is what I was going for, but then I didn't like how the lip looked. Not, not the matteness just the color so now I'm going in with motives liquid lipstick this one is called true grit it's a beautiful chocolate chocolate chocolatey brown shade and I absolutely love it with the look so I hope you guys enjoyed the video even though it had so many hiccups if you did make sure you subscribe comment down below and I'll see you guys all in another video very soon love you guys bye